Zack and Cody used to be the best characters on TV when they starred in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. But as it turns out, they were miserable while working with Disney due to some very messed up things. The Dawn of the Twins For child stars playing different roles in Hollywood, things aren't always hunky-dory and most of them end up getting ruined. For instance, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus and Jake Lloyd were one of the very few stars whose fame wrecked them completely. So it's pretty common for child stars to be spoiled by early fame and money. However, when it comes to kids working for Disney, the problem is usually overworking. At this point, everyone knows that Disney demands its stars to work around the clock and has a pretty tough schedule, even for kids. Zack and Cody started working in the industry from a very young age, and them being identical twins gave a great advantage to the producers. It was illegal to make kids work over a limit, so producers just switched among the two brothers for any role, and people never really knew. Zack and Cody even worked in Friends as Ben, Ross's son, but then came 2005 and Zack and Cody got their own show on Disney, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. The story of this show was written specially for them, and it quickly became a household name. But what people never realized was behind those two twins, there's a history of trauma that they relate with Disney. The fame game. On screen, Zack and Cody were real life Cole and Dylan, who got so much money and fame at such a young age that they started to live a full life of luxury. According to the reports, the duo didn't have their own identity and no matter where they went, they were just Zack and Cody. Most people think this is a good thing, but it took their real personality away and they eventually ended up being the characters they portrayed. It was not really a good idea because what followed was a trauma of years where they had to find out who they truly were instead of just hiding anything and everything about themselves. They call it a major trauma and Disney didn't help them at all in overcoming this. Cole and Dylan said that once you start in a Disney show, you cannot really become anything else. That show becomes your identity and for the rest of your life, you have to live with it. They also raised voices for over-objectifying women in different Disney shows. They said that these shows were made for children and yet women are objectified in them beyond comprehension. And the trauma those girls and women go through cannot even be compared to what everyone else at Disney goes through. All of this has some pretty bad psychological effects on not just Cole and Dylan, but on all the stars working with Disney because Disney kind of controls and hijacks their life. They are not allowed to do certain things or speak to certain people or else they will be dropped from the shows. So being controlled all the time by such a big company cannot really be an experience of a lifetime. It has caused deep trauma for Dylan and Cole too. Cole even said in an interview about the reboot of the show, I don't think I'll ever return to that. So it looks like Cole is not even willing to be part of a Zack and Cody reboot. Cole is so bitter about his first project with Disney that he says he only switches to the sweet life of Zack and Cody whenever he's absolutely drunk or when he's feeling particularly narcissistic. It means he doesn't like to even watch the show that brought him all the fame and the reason obviously in his years old trauma. Currently, Cole is working in a pretty famous show, Riverdale, but he has said on several instances that he's only the part of Riverdale because it provides him income stability. The refusal of a great idea. Another traumatic experience of Dylan and Cole was when they had an amazing idea of what to do with the show. They came up with this idea all on their own and according to them, they just knew in their guts how the show should go. Being a part of the show for so long, they just had this feeling that the story should continue in a certain way, but Disney didn't agree with them. Despite constantly trying to pitch their story to Disney, the twins got turned down. They said there was nothing wrong with the plot ideas they had and it was totally doable. They were 18 at the time and they knew what they were doing. But Disney didn't have faith in them despite the fact that they gave so many of their years to Disney. So after being turned down several times, Cole and Dylan decided to leave the show for good. They said, I don't think Disney was willing to work with us really ever, so we stopped the show. Being at such a young age, having so much fame and yet not being able to make any decisions about your own show had an impact on them. They always felt like Disney never really wanted them, so they stopped the show. And now that everyone is going for reboots, they're not up for that. Their ideas were turned down first time, so any self-respecting adult wouldn't go to that same place again. Dylan and Cole had this idea of a new season where they would graduate, go back to Boston and meet a child that they would get to raise in the same hotel. This indeed was the best way for the audience to get closure. With this storyline, they would have been able to complete their character to transition to and the duo were ready to produce and direct the new show. But Disney refused and the careers of Cole and Dylan being Zack and Cody ended after two long seasons and a movie without any closure. According to reports, the Disney executive laughed at the faces of Dylan and it resulted in them being insecure for years. They were immensely famous once, but 
After this incident, they didn't get any reliable parts in shows until very recently. Wannabe normals. Dylan has been trying to escape his previous life for years now, and he even worked as a host in a restaurant. It's only because his previous life reminded him of all the trauma and identity crisis he has been through. They didn't work for about five years at all and started going to college. Their college life was pretty normal, where they were studying and thriving just like any regular kid does, but the pressure of expectations was immense. Whenever a star kid leaves a Disney or Nickelodeon show, he's immediately expected to star in a movie or start his own music career like Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus. So the twins had millions of fans who expected the same from them, and with this kind of pressure also came an expectation to outdo their previous roles. So they took a long break from acting and focused on studying and working regular jobs. It is also the reason why they weren't completely spoiled like other Disney kids. Dylan and Carl stayed pretty active on Instagram and provided content to their followers. Most of their social media was sugar spice and everything nice. They are one of the only Disney kids that stayed away from controversies, apart from a few leaked photos or funny tweets. They turned out to be pretty regular people despite their overwhelming fame, but they actually lost their true personalities at the beginning as we mentioned earlier. Cole is more of a philosophical and poetic kind of person who basically is a nerd, while Dylan is the naughty know-it-all who just couldn't catch a breath. The worst thing that happened to the two while playing their Disney characters was that they stayed in their characters for so long that they forgot how to be themselves. The trauma Cole and Dylan faced was also because of overworking, but according to the stars, they didn't suffer nearly enough because they were boys and didn't have to constantly face the pressure of looking good all the time. Their time with Disney was not all fun and games and yet their show became one of the most famous television shows. According to the boys, Disney didn't want to work with them anymore at one point. And that is only because Disney prefers working with young teens to have that image of innocence and cuteness. So as soon as the twins turned 18, everything changed for them and the show didn't get any closure. Disney shut the show really early and only one of the twins got their happy ending, so fans were pretty disappointed with it. But still, it was a good thing that Dylan and Cole managed to grow out of the shadow of Disney. Most stars really struggle to make their identity outside of the shade of Disney and they actually end up in great controversies that wreck their career. Most stars working with Disney usually are pushed to work in the music industry, but the duo didn't take that line too. Also, Disney expects the stars to take permission before doing anything and they're constantly monitored. So much so that Disney even controls the way they talk and what they wear. So it must have been a life-altering and traumatic experience for Cole and Dylan, given that they started working with Disney from such a young age. The Disney cast also has to put a wide smile on their face during their public appearances to maintain their innocent status in public. And this is what often makes the child stars suffer even years afterwards. What do you think about the twins and their experience on Disney? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.